right, so we're still on the syllabus, and I wanted to just talk briefly about the syllabus quiz. Um, I'm going to go over the syllabus in a variety of, of lectures today, and then um, you also have hopefully printed it, and you'll have it in your hot little hand, and then you'll take a quiz that completely all the questions can be answered from um, your syllabus. So you'll see that from the home page, the syllabus is this first the syllabus quiz is this first thing on the list. You can also find it through the modules, which I'll talk about in the next lecture. Uh, I just wanted to um, show you the syllabus quiz right now. And uh, most of the questions are multiple choice. There are a couple of questions where you can give more than one answer. All of the answers can be found in the syllabus, and the point of this exercise is to familiarize you with the syllabus so that you understand my rules and the due dates and the criteria and things like that. So. Um, here's the quiz. There's something else I'd like to point out about the quiz um, tool in Canvas. Uh, if you look over here, it shows you the questions that you have yet to answer and, and so on. Like all the ones that have the little question marks mean I haven't answered it yet. I had a student last quarter who said that when she saw the midterm, she saw that there were only 10 questions listed here, so she thought, score, there's only 10 questions on the midterm instead of the 50 that I said there was going to be. Well, she did, obviously didn't scroll this little thing down to see that there were 50 items. And so she mismanaged her time and didn't get to all the questions on that test. Um, please don't look at this little window and think that whatever's showing at the moment is all there is. Um, you've got to use these little slider bars to find stuff. Um, so the instructions are here. And um, this, so it's just little questions about the different rules and criteria and things like that because I know every every class has different criteria and different ways that they set things up so I want you to be familiar with what I'm doing um, so I wanted to show you the ones where you can pick more than one answer just so you see what that looks like sorry for the scrolling all right so you see on question 12 how the buttons are round and then on question 13 they're square round means you only get to pick one square means you get to pick multiples I went ahead and wrote that, mark all the answers which are correct, because Canvas doesn't really give you a hint that you get to pick more than one here. Um, so I've made it, so there are two where you can pick more than one answer. Now I've had students who in the, in the past have taken the syllabus quiz and then they want to quibble with me about the phrasing of a question or whatever. Don't read too much into the question phrasing, just you know answer the questions. Um, I'm not trying to trick you. In fact, you know, this is the simplest quiz you're going to take all quarter because, you know, there's not a lot of complexity to the topics that we're talking about in this quiz. I just want you to know what what's required of you and what you need to know. Um, the quiz questions are, uh, you know, 1.67 points each because there's only 15 items and I made it worth 25 points. The um, quiz will give you immediate feedback to let you know how you did and which ones you missed. The point is for you to, to know the material, not necessarily to get 100%. So if you don't get 100%, you know, just chalk it up to, well, at least now I know, right? So I won't make that mistake in the actual class when it actually matters. Um, so that's the point of this exercise. All right, so that's the syllabus quiz. All right, in my next lecture, I'll talk about the weekly modules and the stuff that will be due every week.